I'm Vanessa Joy and I'm going to show you my three favorite ways to use gradients in Lightroom. And the last one is the most fun. Before we jump into this, if you are interested in how to pose couples, individuals, or groups, you're going to want to download my free posing guide in the link below. You can get tons of inspiration in this beautifully organized PDF that I made all by myself. Not by myself at all. Actually, I use Funday, which is a great software. Anyway, let's get into this. So the first photo that we have here, this is your typical, I'm trying to expose for their skin so they're not too dark, but I don't want to blow out the sky. And then I ended up somewhere in between. Now, before you get to touching skies or really anything else that's a little bit more specific, you want to make sure that your photo is as edited as you would like with all the basics done. So I'm going to head over to my productivity tools here and just make sure there are some things that don't want to do like let's say add a little bit of contrast which now that I'm looking at it I think it would really benefit from a little bit of contrast make sure you don't want to do anything with the exposure now this is just blowing out the sky but I love the way they look right look at them oh I'm gonna skip that for now because I think what I'll end up doing is going into the light and shadows yes that I like I do want to bump up a little bit of saturation and definitely a little bit of vibrance. So I think, let's sharpen it a little bit too. So I think this is a good starting point right about here. I'm gonna cool it down slightly because your skin tones were starting to look a little bit jersey orange and we don't like that. All right, so now this is where I would go into my gradients over here. This is your gradient tool and then head to blue sky, which is all the way up at the top. Now the way that gradients work, you could start all the way at the top and, and go down like this, but then on the bottom, some of that gradient is going to start affecting the two of them. And I don't like that. So let's hit delete. Instead, what I like to do is find the spot where I want the gradient to actually happen. So maybe like right here, and then that way I can stop it right above their heads. Now this looks super horrible and horribly fake. So what can you do about it? Number one thing you can do is you can hold option right there and then either add to it, like really make it super blue and horrible, or you can back it off just slightly, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to back it off slightly right about there looks good to me. This is about the gradient that you want. And then from here, I would actually go into my local adjustment brushes, still on my blue sky, and then fill in, oh, that was excessive. Let's go ahead and back off that flow right there. Um, and then fill in places that I wanted to hit, but wouldn't quite work with the gradient. It just helps smooth it all out like so. And that looks pretty good right there. And again, you can always back off if you wanted to. And I don't want to make it look too natural, unnatural. And <laughs> I want it natural. I don't want to make it look too unnatural. So just kind of looking at that, I'm going to smooth out some of these parts and then I'll probably back it off just a little bit in my amount here. So I'm going for subtle. I still want it to look like natural light and the only place I'm seeing a problem, I'm just going to go to my erase tool, lower the flow quite a bit. I'm seeing more of a problem right there. I'm just gonna smooth that out. I feel like Bob Ross right now, which is not a bad thing. All right, uh, and then I'm also, I see a little dot. I know this was not about healing brush tool, but I saw a sensor spot was driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. All right, from there, if you want to, you can go and adjust all of your other little tools and fun things, but for me, that looks pretty good. If I was to go back, let's just go back before I did anything. So there with a few settings, whoops, those are not all of our settings. <laughs> this is just, uh, I've been doing a lot on this image. From there to there. Oh, yes, gorgeous. All right, so that was with the blue sky. Now let's try it with a magenta one. And you get this gorgeous, pretty sunset. I've reset this. Some of the things that I might do to it, oh, by the way, this is also a JPEG because I didn't have the raw file anymore. Some things I might do is just bring up the vibrance a little bit, maybe a little bit more contrast sharpen always and that looks good now i'm going to go into my gradient tool and instead of blue sky i'm going to go into magenta sky and this time i'm going to take it from the corner because i want it to look like it's coming from the sun so i'll probably do something like that you know i want to tilt it slightly because i don't want it touching the sand if i go like this see how it's touching the sand 
And it doesn't look horrible because the sand could be reflecting the color of the sun. So it's not the end of the world, but I think I wanna end up right about there. I think that's all I'm gonna do with this image. Just a little bit, look how much that enhances it. And again, if you want to, you can back it off a little bit, but that looks pretty good to me. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, and the last one is the most fun. I wanna show you how to add sun flare. This can literally bring a photo to life when it's kind of looking dead. So here we have a gorgeous photo of the bridesmaids. They were so cold, they were freezing. All right, again, I'm gonna start in my productivity and do a couple things. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna go just into my presets because I know either this fresh and clean or the light and airy is just gonna do the trick. Which one do I want? Let's do light and airy. And I'm gonna go back to my productivity and I'm just gonna take off a little bit of exposure and add a bit of contrast. Yeah, that's about where I wanna start. This isn't exactly my style, but you know, this kind of works for everyone. And now this looks okay. Uh, it still needs a more contrast. I'm gonna pull the blacks down. Yeah, that looks okay. This is a great place to start. Now, if you wanted to bring some life to this, you could of course go and warm it up, but then all of their skin tones start looking crazy. So let's not do that. Uh, let's actually just go back to where we were before that. And I'm gonna go into my gradients and go into sun flare. Now, you could do it straight from above like this if you want to, or you can go by corners as sun kind of tends to come into the corner. And for this one, it doesn't matter quite so much if you get it on people's faces because sun flare falls and spills onto people's faces. So that's not a huge deal. And I'm actually gonna do it in both sides. Look how much that just brought that to life. Let's just take it off and now take it on. Huge, huge. I wonder what it'll look like coming from there. Yeah, cause sun comes from the ground. I don't know, you just sometimes you just like to play with your stuff, right? <laughs> All right, you know, even if I wanted to add this, let's hit new and I'm gonna go into my tilt shift just out of pure curiosity. Wonder what would happen. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. Okay, that's not good. All right, but that looks pretty good. I like this, I like this. All right, so just our little before and after. I'm gonna go down to wherever I reset the previous, there we go. So that's the before, that's the after, and those are all of the ways that I like to use gradients. You can have a lot of fun with this stuff. Um, obviously, it's all dependent on your style, but those are my three favorite ways to use gradients adding sun flare, blowing up my sky, and enhancing a magenta sunset. So, hope you liked it. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment, and share pretty please, because that helps me grow. Like, you have no idea how much that helps me, and I really appreciate all of you. Make sure you come back next time. Bye.